This game also has an amazing list of um, characters on the good side. The protagonists, uh, Solid Snake. I'd say his voice makes the character so good. He is just like this rough, tough, retired mercenary, basically. But he's also incredibly smart when you get when you get down to it. Gotcha. He says stuff like, you know, I'm just a killer. I don't really have anything to look forward to in my life. And it gets really philosophical with the plot. But Snake is a really smart guy, but he's also super tough. I mean, there are times when, like, a tank tries to shoot him. And he's like, he's like, ah, screw this, he jumps out of the way. I mean, he jumps back with, like, in 10 feet. I mean, come on. Uh, some of the other protagonist characters are, are, are a bit... Uh, more annoying, but I think they were meant to be, like Mei Ling, yeah, she was kind of annoying. But I think that's how her character was meant to be. Then you have, like, Naomi, who's a little bit secretive, and at the end of the game you find out what her secret is. She's a very mysterious character who doesn't really help you all that much, but she tells you a lot of interesting side story type stuff. Uh, the Colonel, of course, he's like the guy who's in charge of everything. What's the situation, Snake? Now he's a, he's pretty interesting. He really helps move the story along, and he provides um, a little bit of a relaxed tone to the game. With all the philosophical plot and all that stuff, he's just relaxed throughout it all. And he's there. He's really a good guy. But there are times when he's only as good as the world lets him be. There are times when he will lie to you, keep secrets from you, but that's because he feels like he has to, not because he's a bad guy. Then you have the mysterious Cyborg Ninja, aka Ray Fox. He has probably the most emotional death in perhaps the entire game at the end of the story. In the final boss fight with Metal Gear, well not the final boss fight, but one of the final boss fights with Metal Gear Rex. Now speaking of the final boss fight which is against Liquid, I don't know how the heck Liquid keeps surviving. Liquid. You know, when Hideo Kojima was making the game, he was been like, hey, Okay guys, let's just screw around with the guys playing the game. Okay, you shoot down Luke in a helicopter, you think he's dead? Ah, no, you know he's not, he's right back. Okay, when he's Metal Gear Rex, you shot him like a of a missile. You think he's dead? Ah, no, he's not. Now you're gonna find on top of Metal Gear Rex. Now you kick him off into space and he falls like 200 feet. So you're pretty sure he's dead? Ah, no, he's not. Now you're in a jeep. Okay, you shoot him like 20 times in the head, and then your jeep's crashing, like his blows up. You think he's dead? No, he's not. And I'm not gonna tell you how he dies, because that would give away a major part of the plot. Although I just gave away a part right there. Now keep in mind, this is not a review of Metal Gear Solid, that's why I'm not giving out scores. I might go back and review Metal Gear Solid uh, sometime in the future. But really, I'm just doing this to explain how basically how incredible Metal Gear Solid is. I mean, it combined with uh, Final Fantasy VII are perhaps some of the greatest games of all time, and the games that really made PlayStation stand out. And the franchise has continued to be major for PlayStation up until now, with the release of Metal Gear Solid 4 in uh, 2008. So really overall, this game had an incredible emotional story, great music that really set the mood, Unforgettable characters, both uh -oh. the good guys and the bad guys, Stay. and graphics that stood up for its time. But the biggest thing was, really, it made the PlayStation brand, and it completely almost invented uh, the genre or type of games that we now call stealth games. Like when you play Assassin's Creed, a lot of the sneaking ideas are taken from Metal Gear Solid, at least a little bit. Uh, Splinter Cell, where do you think they got a lot of those ideas? Even in Grand Theft Auto, which you might think is not a very stealthy game. But there are times when you sneak around, especially like in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. With robbing and all that. A lot of those ideas are at least loosely based on things that were done in Metal Gear Solid. So really, Metal Gear Solid invented an entire type of game. And it's really one of the best games of all time. Mr. President. You idiot! I won't die.